The art of bonsai is a centuries-old Asian pruning method in which trees and bushes are transformed into a characteristic shape. The aim of traditional bonsai is to present the harmony between nature and man in miniature. Having said that, bonsai doesn't mean that the tree has to be miniature in size. Almost every kind of tree can be given the bonsai treatment. And what we'd like to show you with this video is just how you can turn your pine tree into a bonsai. The bonsai effect is achieved through the regular trimming of the tree's new shoots. And trimming is only necessary once a year and is done between late May and early June. And you can tell when it's the right time to prune the tree by examining the needles of the shoots, which because of this shape are also known as candles. At the beginning of the growth phase, the needles are still laid against the shoots. When the needles fold out, you know it's time to trim the shoot. From each trimmed shoot, three new shoots will grow. And this nicely fills up the gaps in the leaf plateau and will lead to a smooth and full upper surface. Over time, this regular clipping and growing of new candles produces a thickly branched bonsai. If you wait before working on the tree, the needles will already have grown and it will be difficult to differentiate them from the new shoots. But be careful when dealing with older needles. These should rather not be clipped as the needles, which help to form the upper surface, need time to heal. Making a mistake with this often leads to brown patches. Jagged branches or brown patches can also be prevented by always using sharp cutters. In order to ensure that the pine grows into a healthy bonsai, you should trim the leaves not only from above, but also from the sides and from beneath. Start by first cutting back the upper surface of the leaf plateau. Then remove the shoots which are hanging down from the sides and from beneath. The shadow area of the tree remains free from dead branches, the bonsai will keep its characteristic shape. Also get rid of dead branches or needles from the tree, since these can provide a weak spot where diseases may attack. And when you cut off superfluous or dead branches, try to trim as cleanly as possible, avoid leaving any so-called coat hooks. If the cut is clean, your tree stays healthy, as the branches will quickly resonate and heal. The bonsai will usually be thicker at the top, since the plant tends to spread more strongly in the crown, and even more so when it's been standing for a longer time outside. The branches should be cut out of the crown at an appropriately early point. The bonsai should generally be more trimmed in the crown area than in the lower part. In this way, you can ensure that the lower leaves receive enough light from the beginning. Doing this will encourage new and healthy growth throughout the tree. Lawberg Nursery wishes you success in your pruning and the greatest enjoyment in the beauty of your bonsai.